everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in the sense where we are going to be making a fake tiny home. So I'm building this for my black bingo challenge and we have a budget of 30,000. But what I mean by a fake tiny home is we'll have a real room somewhere, but for the rest of the lot, we'll have to have a fake room. And basically how you create that is you attach two walls or whatever to the building and then you draw one wall separately and then you bring that wall in. And then as you can tell, I can't click on this part because it's not a room like you can't make it a different size because like this whole thing is not a room right it's fake then you would just put a roof over it like this pretty simple and yeah so now we are just getting started on the speed build i'm very sorry about the audio if it feels a little different because right now i'm doing a voiceover in my editing software and to record that part i just did obs because originally this was going to be a less build but it's just it's very hard for me to find the time to do do a lot of editing i guess because obviously a real life or a real time video is longer to edit because you're talking in it while you're doing it or while you're playing the game so i do apologize um i was excited to do like a little less build but um it just didn't work out that way but um yeah we have a budget of thirty thousand. this is for my blackout bingo challenge she just needs a bigger house and if you're interested i do have a playlist on that challenge i'm doing it because i reached 700 subscribers which is crazy and i'm really close to actually reaching 800 subscribers which i feel like that was so fast um i don't know i feel like it was very fast i guess because I feel like I just reached 700. Um, so I don't even know what I would do for 800. But if you have any ideas, please let me know. But yeah, this is... I guess the Blackout Bingo Challenge is supposed to be like... Um, a short series. It's not supposed to be long or anything. Um, but it's definitely going to take a while, <laughs> I guess. Um, but yeah, she has a lot to do. She has to like... Um, when horse competitions, we don't even have a horse. I'm not even thinking of that. We have to have triplets or twins. She has to build a servo. She has to complete university. She has to reach level 10 in a career, which is why I'm doing university. So that's a good thing. And she has to kill someone with pufferfish. And, and in order for her to do that, she has to make it poor quality. Except it's not working. Like, she's a high maintenance sim. But for some reason, I'm struggling to have her make a poor quality one and she's only level four of the cooking skill so i just don't know why i'm having such a hard time completing that because i thought it would be simple she ha she's high maintenance she's always in a bad mood usually like she has a hatred for the sun so she has like this angry mood all the time and i don't know it's just it's not working which is very unfortunate but with our fake tiny home, there's usually some cons to this. One of them being the flooring having like a weird color to it because of the lighting issue. Because it thinks it's outdoors, but it's, you know, it's, I mean, it is outdoors, but we're pretending like it's actually a room. But I didn't have that problem on this build. So actually I think that is good because I don't know what flooring I would have used because it would have looked probably too different. Um, I would, I don't know, I think it would be a very hard challenge to figure out or to try to make a flooring work if it was kind of like off color, I guess, or not the right color because of the lighting. But yeah, luckily we didn't have that issue in this build. I don't know how it will be if you like replace it if that will like break it or something but um yeah and then another con is like having a column on the edges because i like doing that it makes it feel complete to me so like for the fake rooms the columns clip in so you can see it from the inside which is annoying and another thing is you can't press shift or alt on a fake room because that will paint the outside as well and like the full wall because it's fake again if it was a real room you could but since it's fake you can't do that so you have to kind of like drag and paint it uh, which is very annoying and upstairs you could probably see the roof clipping and that's because again it's a fake room um so i had to use i think i used like a smaller trim 
I'm not so sure, to be honest with you, but, um, yeah, um, anyways, I don't know. I think this house is okay, but eventually she will have to have a house that's worth 100k to million, so, um, yeah, I feel like I should probably have her start painting. I do have an easel on the porch that I ended up putting, so... Yeah, I don't know. I feel like she needs to make faster income because, I don't know, her books are not doing so great right now. I feel like it's a slow process with writing books because you have to wait the next day for royalties. And, you know, you don't want to write too much because usually they would get writer's block. And, I mean, honestly, Growing Together has this feature where you can get, like, dazed because... I guess they're getting burnt out from doing the same thing over and over, but I kind of hate that, so... I would honestly probably treat it away because I know I don't know I was kind of fine before I did that um, and in the end I do change out the layout for the kitchen I think I ended up putting like the kitchen in a little nook but I was like I don't know this is I don't know I, I guess I didn't like it at the end but yeah I'm just getting like some feature walls of stone I guess um, and yeah so like the full downstairs is a real room and then the whole upstairs i believe is fake um so yeah right now we're just working on the living room um pretty simple pretty nice um i love this color theme that i went for on the inside it's like a pinky peachy and yellow color because i used the rug from horse ranch and i thought that looked really good but I will most likely have my sim like bring some furniture with her. I believe she has to the parent of the counters, so I'll just have to like bring those and just switch the swatch, I think. And I will say a lot of I have two rooms that are empty because they I don't know. I just again we're on a budget. I only have like eight thousand simoleons left. Um so a lot of the areas are not like cluttered. And it's kind of empty, so I do upload this to the gallery, but just be aware that you might want to do some extra furnishing, I guess, um, if you need to. Um, but as I'm doing the challenge, I'll probably just add some stuff as I need it. And I honestly don't think I want to have the twins or triplets anytime soon because it's just, I feel like that's one of the things I want to do at the end so I don't have to deal with them. And I'm playing my Not So Berry Challenge and... I used to play it on the PS4, but now that I switched to PC, I silly me did not know console. I I don't know. Anyways, I didn't upload those Sims to the gallery, so I had to start over. And I was thinking like, oh, on my PS4, the yellow gen had triplets. Um, she actually had four kids in total. Her first child was a single child. Um, and then her second pregnancy, she had triplets. And I was like, hmm, should I repeat that? Um, but I was like, I'm just gonna have twins because I don't want to deal with triplets. Infants are so annoying. Like, that was rough. I think I aged them up early and I don't know. I can't. Anyways, it's rough out here. But I did put the rocket ship, which I think is like 5,000 simoleons, so I ended up deleting that, I believe. And yeah, it's just very empty in this house. It sucks. Um, to be honest with you, it definitely sucks. But yeah, I got the rocket ship because she does need to travel to Sixum, which I don't know. Like, what? No, I don't know. She does have to get her rocket ship or her rocket science skill up. Is that what it's called? Rocket science? Yeah. And I don't know. I feel like it would have probably been easier for me to have her, I guess, go to university to be a scientist so she can, like, make the wormhole generator. But again, I'm playing Not So Berry. I feel like I just played the scientist career, so I'm a little good on that. And I feel like with the rocket ship, it's going to take longer because she has to get her skill up. But since she's on a tiny lot, that should not be an issue, right? It's, it should be fine. It should be okay. Um, but yeah, I have photos at the end to show you the final, I guess, product. Um, I don't know why I'm trying to fit in an island. Um, it's not gonna work there. I don't know. I just wanted something, I guess. But yeah, I'm gonna leave off the video here. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I love you. You're important. And I hope you enjoy your day. 
and the photos at the end. I will see you guys soon. Bye!